Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the new control center in iOS 7. Let's get started. Now as you just saw, all you have to do to activate control center is swipe up from the bottom. And what's great about this feature is it's accessible in any application as well as your lock screen. Now there are a lot of basic features within the control center as well as a few advanced. So we'll go through them one by one. The top bar here is your basics. You have your airplane mode, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your privacy, and even orientation lock. Below that you have your brightness toggle. And below that you have sort of like an iPod feature here which allows you to play a song and control the volume. Next up we have AirDrop and this basically allows you to share things with your friends. It's a lot like the Samsung and Android technology where they bump devices to share things. But with AirDrop you're not bumping, you're just basically opening up the application, choosing a contact and then sharing it. Now you can access AirDrop for many different applications as well as your photos. Now below the airdrop we have our basic applications. You've got the flashlight app which will open up the rear facing camera flash. You've got the clock app for your alarms as well as timers. You've got the calculator for any calculations you need to do. I've got 6, 33. <laughs> and then finally we have the camera app which will open up the camera app on the go. And again this can be accessed from the lock screen or from any application just by swiping up from the bottom. There is a setting you can play around with in the settings application. It's a very basic one. Go into control center and it'll allow you to set the access on the lock screen. So if you don't want this control center to open up when you're on the lock screen, you can turn that off and basically only have it activated when the phone is unlocked. So that is control center. Now I have a question for you guys. Do you think control center is a good addition to iOS? Let me know what you think, what you would change about it in the comments down below. Personally, I really like it because I find the quick settings on my Nexus 7 and really useful so having this on the go being able to swipe up from the bottom to access them is really useful for me what I'd like to see though is a way to customize the apps at the bottom or customize which settings you have at the top I think that would be a good feature I'm not sure how that would work especially since you can access this in the lock screen but it would be nice if there was some customization to it but again we will find that out when iOS 7 is fully released to the public anyway guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this don't forget to hit the like button also subscribe for more videos on iOS 7 as well as the iPhone. I'll be posting videos on the iPad in the near future as well as the PlayStation 4. So definitely subscribe if you're into that and I will see you in the next one.